In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sort function in Google Sheets. I'm going to show you how to use it to sort a single column. I'm going to show you how to use it to sort a table by a single column. And then I'm going to show you how to use it to sort uh, multiple columns. So the main benefit of using the sort function over using the sorting options in the data tab is that the sort function is dynamic, whereas um, using this sort option is static. And so what I mean by that is that um, as soon as you sort it with the data sort options, um, your data stays that way. If you have new data, you would have to resort it. Um, since the sort function is a function, those rules stay applied. So if my data changes, my sorted values will end up changing. Um, so that's one of the benefits of using it. So the first thing I'll show you how to do is just to use it to sort um, just a single column. So the syntax of this function is sort, and then it's the range that you want sorted, um, the column that you want sorted, and then is ascending. Um, so true means you want to sort your data ascending. False will mean descending. So I'll just show you how to use this. So equals sort, and then I'm going to select my range. So by default, if I close this formula out and press enter, it's going to sort it ascending. Um, so that's the same thing as selecting the first column and selecting true. It will also be the same thing. Um, if you want to sort it descending, you would just change this to false. So the syntax is range, the column I want sorted, so I only have one column in this example, and then is ascending, true or false. So next I'll show you how to sort um, a single, um, this table by a single column, so still with just one sorting rule. So equals sort tab, then I'm gonna select my range. And then maybe in this example, I want to sort it by sales. So I'm going to do three and then ascending. So I'll go true. So this sorted um, this table here by the third column and put it in ascending order. So um, with this um, sort function, you can put on additional parameters at the end. So if you want to sort by more than one column you can do that um, so it works pretty much the same way so in this example I have um, district and sales so maybe what I want to do is I want to sort first by district so I can group everyone in the same district and then by sales so what I would do is equals sort and then I grab my range so first I want to sort by the second column and I want to sort ascending and then I want to sort by sales and maybe I'll do this one descending so you can see first it sorted by this column in alphabetical order and then it sorted by this column and put it in descending order so that is how you sort by multiple columns with the sort function thank you for watching the video if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.